Hey guys, three, two, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing some more particles. And we're actually going to be doing a anime particle today. We're going to be doing one inspired by Dragon Ball and other enemies that have aura effects on their um, characters. But this one will be pretty simple and actually really customizable. We're just going to go ahead and insert a particle in our torso of our dummy to start. And then we'll go from there. The first thing we're going to want to do is actually get a particle. I actually have one somewhere, and here I actually have a aura effect right here, and it's going to be our particle we're going to be using for this, and we're actually going to layer some other particles on it as well. I just found this one by um, looking up Dragon Ball Aura on Google, and I think I found it. And here you see we can just kind of find some different auras on, uh, online. This one actually looks pretty cool, this is a Unity um, one, and I think we should actually try to make something similar to this. And I kind of have an idea of how we're going to do it, but for now, let's just make the main particle. Now, the thing about this is they have uh, a very high rate, but they have a very short lifetime. So they uh, so they spawn really quickly, but then they last only for about, like, you know, maybe 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 seconds. Now that we have that going, we're actually going to put this in an attachment, just so all of our particles come out of the same little spot. We can actually put a Z offset on this, but just for now, we're just going to have it on zero. And just kind of mess around with this. Now, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and increase our size. We want a size that's uh, pretty big that'll envelop the entire character, and then we'll give it a little bit of an envelope just so it has some size variation. And then it'll um, all shrink. Next thing we're going to do is just mess around the transparency a little bit. Obviously, we're going to have this fade up like that, but then we're going to have it disappear quickly at the end and also come in pretty quickly. Now, I think that doesn't uh, that lifetime is too long, so we're actually going to make it a little bit shorter even maybe only like that and increase the size just a little bit as well now actually I think we should have it like this instead how it grows really quickly and then disappears maybe something like that that's already looking a little bit cooler maybe not as much um yeah there we go okay now that is a good base to work off of and now we're just gonna start customizing these other things just so it doesn't look um, all crazy like that but it's still gonna look pretty intense We'll have a little bit of spread angle, only like two maybe, maybe three. Um, speed, we'll have a speed at zero probably. And then rotation, we will have, I think a negative 15 to 15. Yeah, something like that looks cool, uh, looks pretty cool. And then rotation speed, we'll just have it, uh, we don't really need any rotation speed, but uh, there we go. Maybe a little bit of speed actually. Now our effect is already looking pretty cool. Um, I definitely want some more transparency on this though, just because I think it looks a little bit too crazy right now. And also I'll just make this color a little bit later. That is already sort of like a Dragon Ball like aura. We can have the um the Z offset in front of the player as well. So we can kind of um see what the particle is doing. And we'll also add some light emission. And there we go. Now that is looking really nice. We'll actually decrease this Z offset. And I'm going to move this attachment up so it's more centered in the body. There we go. Now the next thing I wanted to do is in this one, we actually see that there's something on the ground. And I think that looks really sick. So what we'll do is add another attachment in the body. And I think we'll just put it on the ground like this. So just at their feet right there. And we'll add another particle emitter. But I think if we set this to facing world perpen or, or velocity perpendicular, I think we would have the spread come out. Okay, we'll actually want to make the speed zero, and we'll just be changing the size, and just kind of how we did it for this one. There we go. <laughs> that's not really what I want. Um, we'll actually make this zero, um, and I don't know why that's disappearing. Let me figure this out. Okay, we can have it like that, but then let's just give it some drag, just so it doesn't um actually go up at all. We'll just make this like 10 or something. I don't know. Um, There's probably a better way to do that. I don't know why it's doing it like that, but go ahead and actually give us a texture real quick. I think one of these three will look pretty cool. And I'm going to try this one first and then that one if that first one doesn't look good. But then we'll also combine some of these down here um, afterwards. And I think it'll look pretty nice. Now, we don't want that rate that high. Um, let's make the rate like 5. And we'll make this size really small, but then also let's make this lifetime only like one second. There we go. Now the size, we're going to have something like that. 
That looks too small. Now let's make this bigger. A lot bigger. There we go. Okay. And now let's just change this transparency as well. Let's just do what we did before. Something like this, like a trapezoid where it dips down. And we'll actually increase this light emission as well. And I've changed the color to yellow. And I think it'll look pretty cool. I'm actually gonna need some rotation speed as well. So the rotation 0 to 360. And then our rotation speed will have like 180. This is already looking uh, a lot cooler. I think because the texture is already kind of transparent, it doesn't look as good as I'd want it to. So let's go ahead and get this one. And actually, this one might look cool. Um, let's see how this one looks. Uh, maybe not a fan of that one. But I think this one might look better. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'll have to adjust the transparency a little bit because I had to remove it just to see. Um, maybe a little bit lighter for this. And that's looking really cool. And then we can add a couple more particles on this. And then once it's all together, it'll look really awesome. Let's also make it night really quick just so we can see our particles better. But now we can really see our particle now that it's at night. And we're actually going to go ahead and turn off light influence. Think light emission all the way up or almost all the way up but then we can have it all the way up for this one okay now i think i realized why this wasn't working as well as i wanted it to which was uh, because of how the size was and now i actually want the size to kind of increase the entire time up until it um uh, kind of goes away there we go and i still don't know why this is not a uh, <laughs> um I'm not sure if it's because of the drag. It shouldn't because of the, be because of the drag. Uh, for some reason, it looked like it fixed it a little bit. Um, <laughs> let's just go ahead and do that. <laughs> now that actually looks pretty sick. I like how that looks. Now let's increase. Uh, make sure this transparency just disappears slower. Be more gradual. So I think if we just do that, that fixes it a little bit. And I just want to figure out why this size isn't working exactly how I want. But we can increase this rate a little bit. And there we go. That's actually looking really sick. Kind of have this um this particle getting emit off the floor. I just want to go ahead and actually change how this transparency looks. I think that looks sick now. <laughs> now I think it's time to start adding some other particles as well. Let me actually just change the color of this. There we go. I just want it to kind of match a little bit better. Now I think the last thing we'll do for this particle is we'll actually go ahead into this uh, attachment here. And we'll actually add a different particle. I want to add sort of like this, um, this swirl particle that we can kind of see on this one. Um, like on this side, similar to that at least, but we can also actually add sparks after. Um, for now, we'll just go ahead and add one of these, and I'll show you what we're going to do for this. Now, we don't really want any speed. I don't know if that's going to stop the particle from disappearing completely. Um, okay, no, it's still there. But we're going to change the size, we're going to make it start smaller, and then get bigger, and then we're going to have it rotate like the whole time, back until it gets... Um, back until it disappears or actually you know we'll just delete these and we'll kind of have it be big the whole time and then just get small at the end actually no just scratch that we'll just have it be one size the whole time what is this this is um 2.5 we'll just make it 2.5 the whole time or maybe three now rotation we're gonna have it um zero to 360 again i guess there we go i gave it um, a 360 degree spread angle and I actually had to change the speed to see this but we made it velocity parallel and I think if we make it zero it's gonna stop working um, yeah it looks like it stops working if we have that so we'll just go ahead and add the drag again and I'll show you what this is gonna do so now that we have it like facing in random directions we'll actually um, go ahead and put the Z offset on top I think and we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and change this transparency. We'll make it something like this, and we'll actually make this a little bit bigger as well. Maybe a little bit more transparent too. 
but now we're gonna have these rotate um, really quickly so we're gonna have these rotate at like 360 degrees and now you see these will start kind of um, spinning around like that maybe not that high maybe 180 instead I think that looks a little better let's go ahead and grab this color also if you didn't know when you're changing colors for particles and you want to copy one you actually have to go into this HTML value and then uh, copy it into the other HTML value there I don't know why it's weird but you know you kind of got to do what you got to do I'm actually gonna have to change this color a little bit lighter just because of how this texture is but something like that actually looks pretty nice you know what we will give it some size variation though we'll make it like uh, an, an envelope like this this much maybe and uh, actually we'll just make this um this envelope down here uh, just the same size and there we go that's already looking pretty cool definitely see how that looks uh, kind of swirling around it and I want to see what happens if we put the Z offset to nothing I feel like that doesn't look as good, but it still looks, it still looks nice. I like it, and I think maybe we'll just make the uh, rotation speed a lot higher, just so we can really tell that it's like spinning, and then we'll just make the rate um, a bit smaller. And that already looks pretty cool. I think the lifetime should just be a set value as well, though. There we go, that's already looking really nice. And maybe they'll only like swirl like a couple times per second. And I think that's looking really awesome. Now I don't think we actually want to have a whole lot of Y value um, spread, I think. I'm not sure, I think it actually looks fine if you live like that. But there we go, we kind of have a swirl now and this uh, emitter on the bottom as well as our aura effect which will actually go ahead and make a little bit more transparent just because of, or actually no not not more transparent but just a little bit smaller rate maybe like 35 there we go and last thing we're going to do is actually add some sparks to this as well so we're going to add one more particle emitter and we'll go ahead and add our sparks now i want to add one more which is this kind of muzzle flare particle which actually i think might look cool as a particle for this. Let's go ahead and add a, see if this one works. Um, okay, that one doesn't seem to work. I've uh, never had this really happen with particles. Okay, that one, there we go. I think that one looks okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly kind of set this up how we did with these uh, these little embers for that fire. Um, and I think, because you know, it's nothing really crazy. It's just kind of stuff I have done before and stuff you guys have probably done if you watched that last video, but we're gonna have to do that and just see how it looks at the end. There we go. No, I, actually, I actually think it looks really sick. And that is definitely thumbnail worthy. It's probably gonna be the one in the thumbnail. Let's actually just go ahead and give this uh, no name real quick. And we'll go ahead and just uh, give this dude a little head. <laughs> um, and then we'll just, uh, we'll just color him white or something. I don't know. There we go. Now, anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I actually want <laughs> one more thing you have to do. Let's add a point light. And we'll just uh, make this a little bit more dim. Give it uh, some shadows. Actually, no shadows. And we'll just make the, uh, the range a little bigger. And uh, change the color as well. Here we go. But if you guys did enjoy, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we'll definitely be doing more particle videos in the future. I have more anime-inspired particle ideas planned, which um, I actually learned a little bit about particles and um, got a little better with them too. So making some anime particles would definitely be fun. <laughs> but remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and join our Dev Center Discord and our Banana Boaters Discord. We are going to release the uh, our new game hopefully before the 18th so if you're excited for that go join the banana butters discord but anyways peace